have to check on that. IP camera and the partial camera. The other one, this side, the first way. The first way, the analog camera. So today we are starting from the part that makes up the camera. When you see a camera like this, what are the parts that are together in the camera? Are you sure what's on the right? This is a camera. So I started some parts that made up. And I gave you the bits of the parts. What was the first one? We have both parts. We have both parts. Now this one. Let me hold it. SPU. You have a signal for this unit. Camera mount. Camera mount. Can you see now? So those are the parts that make up the camera. We have the inputs. The inputs. The inputs. The outputs. The uh, IR unit, the SPU, the camera, the camera mount, the camera, camera casing, the audio mic. audio mic if available, and selector. So today now, I'm, I'll be taking them one after the other. So what's the first one? Input. Input part. So write it down now. Input part. When we are talking of input part of the camera, there are where other physical variable comes into the camera. And what are the two major visible variables of actually the camera? We have video and we have sometimes audio. Am I right or wrong? So for this particular camera, this one doesn't have an audio. The first input, if I have audio, I need a small tiny screwdriver. I told you to PCC. Screwdriver, screwdriver, where is the precision okay, tooth? Where is the precision tooth? Bring it So we have two input parts. Number one, we have the power input. Put it down like that. Power input. We have power input. We have power input. So on power input, this is the power input. Power input. And I told you that for partial digital cameras, they are what? How many votes comes inside them? 12, 12 votes comes inside. Thank you. So the moment the power comes in, then the camera will be activated. The one B now, the other input that we have, the other input that we have, we have what we call the lens sensor. Can you see this? So I said you have two of input, power input. Power is one. The second one is the lens sensor. This is the lens sensor. This is the lens sensor. What that lens sensor does is that the converge image from the lens is converted to electronic signal. Visual image coming from the lens are converted to what? Electronic signals. Visual images that are the lens that are converged from the lens are, con are converted into electronic signals. The other one is mic, but I will treat mic separately. Like I mean, like this one doesn't have mic. And what I used to tell installers, those that are people that have went through me or is that went through me, the quality of the image is a factor of this one. It should be the one that will determine almost every other thing. So the moment you are using a very poor camera in terms of image capture, whether your DVR is good, your storage is high, at the end of the day, you will not be as good as what you are expecting. So that's for the input part. How many input part do I tell you now that the camera has two? What's number one? Our number two? Now, oh yeah, let's move to number two part. What is number two on this? Output part. We started this class, let's say 11.20. So, and I told you that we are having one and a half hours class. The class will be ending by 12.30, as you know, we start from moment, but the class will be ending by 12.50 now. 12.50, one hour, 30 minutes. So this is what we call the video output. This one I'm holding here. And what you are seeing here is a female BNC camera. Your video output on the output part is a what? Female BNC 
male terminal. So when you want to connect it, you connect a male terminal to it, and you know how male and female is. I want fast all this, man. <laughs> In some advanced camera nowadays, we have something you call audio over PNG. That on this connector like this, both the video and the audio will flow to this. But in some other cameras, we have audio output separately. I will discuss that on that mic. You know, we have mic separately. Or audio mic. I will discuss it separately on that mic. So the output part, the output part, A will be what? Video output. And it's what? The female BNC stamina. And put 2B now. You know, asterisk it. Some are audio output. And that audio output is AV output. You know AV now? Yes. AV output. We will talk more on it when we get to camera audio. Can I move on now? What is number three part? Infrared part. Infrared part. Infrared part. For this particular camera, Let me move it down. For this particular camera, this part I'm trying to this that I want to disengage now is the infrared part. I told you to pieces the camera. I really like that. <laughs> it's already it's not working again. And under infrared part, as I'm right to put uh, putting it, separating it, right? We have two parts. The IR part has two parts, infrared part. It has what we call the infrared sensor, and it has what we call the infrared LED. Sensor what? It has the infrared sensor, and it has the infrared LED. This is the infrared part. So it has the infrared sensor, and it has the LED. So let me start from the infrared sensor. This is the sensor. Can, can everybody see it? Yes. This is the sensor. This is the sensor. Uh, collect one of our chairs there now. F1, I like that So you sit here, so you can listen better. Who wants this load? We have the infrared sensor. This infrared sensor is what is inside is all called light dependent dial. Light dependent dial. Or in some we call it photo variables. They are devices that when you use your hand to block ray of light, they either trigger on or trigger off or energy. Like in solar light now, you know, in the day, solar will go off. All those solar stick light. At night it will come up. Same also function, this one does. The moment it does not sense normal atmospheric light intensity, it will, it will either trigger, it will trigger on this LED. So the major function of this sensor is to on and off the IR LED, put it down that way. The major function of the infrared sensor is to on or off, to trigger on or to put off IR LED. Can you see these are the LED? These are the LED. All these ones that you see big ones, they are magnifiers. I'm still coming to that. I'll still pass it around. Two uh, B pass now. We have the infrared LED. You can pass it on. What is underneath here? It's infrared LED. Can you see one something underneath here? You can pass it around. It's the infrared LED. The function of that LED means light emitting down. It will put on infrared light. It will, it will put on infrared light so that the lens of this camera can view at night. So instead of your camera to be showing black and white at night, you should put on the infrared light so the camera can either see black and white. Or in some cases, we have some special cameras that are colored night view now. And it will show color that night, but the color will not be as sharp as data. 
Are you with me now? Should I repeat myself? The major point of that infrared energy is to emit infrared ray at night. And that infrared ray will assist your camera to see at night. Oh, you get what I'm saying? And another thing about this infrared ray is that they are not visible to the sky. Your eyes can't detect it. It's only cameras, phone cameras you can use to detect it. Maybe later I can teach you how to know if there is a camera, a hidden camera in the place. Number three, or B or C now under infrared LED. C. We have what we call IR magnifiers. Can you see these thick things? These thick ones. They are magnifiers. 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 Call them magnifiers. Meaning that the light that this infrared will generate is small. But this magnifier will what? Make it. Make it multiply it, make it look bigger. Don't get what I'm saying. Not all cameras have magnifiers. But most now they have magnifiers. And the major function of the magnifier is to, to increase the intensity of the uh, infrared generated by the LED. Don't get what I'm saying. So this one I'm holding now, the complete this one, infrared mask. How do you now test whether infrared is working or not? When you connect your camera, you use your hand to block this infrared. As soon as it's back here. I'll use my hand to block it. I will now, the moment I use my hand to block I will now, or I use my hand to cover it. I will now put a phone. If there are, how many infrared lights are here now? One, two, three, four, five, six. On your phone, six must also come out. Like from the camera? Yeah, from the camera. You just check it. If one of these is not coming up, or is very low, don't buy that. It has all come manufacturer defects. Meaning, with time, all those guys will be going up one after the other. And before you use it for some months, you notice that. You see? It will not be viewing at night again. Your clients will start complaining that when it's night now, it will just be black. Although, that is not the only thing that can cause it. To. Another thing that can cause it is when you have lesser power than what you can do. At night, when this thing should work, it will not work effectively. Less than minimum. Uh, less than less than this. Yes, than camera Can I move on? What is next pass? On uh, SPU. Signal based SPU. SPU. Signal processing. This is the SPU. This is That's it. This board, this board, okay. Every other part of the camera, this board is SP. Every other part of the camera is connected to here. Maybe the IRO, the IRO zoom part, the LED zoom part, everything is connected to us, to the SPU. So the SPU is like the motherboard of the camera or the brain of the camera itself. So it's the one that will tell the camera, it is now night, we have trigger on. We have send black and white image. We have send colored image. It's the one that will convert all the information that he has received as maybe videos, audios. It will now convert it to what? Analog or electronic signal. Analog electronic signal that will flow through here to your DVR. And your DVR will not be And let me tell you one funny thing about The moment this SPR has the most of the time, it's not repairable. Although there are some people that now comes around now, I'll tell you that they buy what we call electronic scrap. They buy it scrap. Me, I don't sell it as scrap. What I use it for is there are some clients after installing camera, they will tell you that 
you will advise them that they should have dummy cameras. You know, you have only one single camera outside you. But you want to convince the team you can put extra things. So we will not you will think that the theories are working. Instead of buying dummy cameras, when I have cameras that are not working, I also use them as dummy. So if you come and ask ah, one camera in one year, I say, ah, let us spoil that one. Probably my spoil the one that is installed. Mm -hmm. And I've already the digger have already captured your face. So we also use spoiled cameras, but you can apart from using them. So the moment this SP is having problem, most of the time, you might not be able to solve it most of the time. What's the next part that we have there? Camera mount. Camera mount. And there is one part I forgot to tell you. Camera you have you have the lens pass, right? I can put it on a lens pass. I'm still coming to camera mode, just put less part here. Let me now move to we camera to mode. I just add it to the list. Camera mode. The mount, this is what we call the camera mount. This part, although we have pieces, this is what we call the camera mount. In a layman terms, the mount is like the neck of your camera. Your camera mount is the neck. In a layman, is the neck of your camera. I'm trying to put it together. So during installation, is the mount that we use in setting the view of the camera. During installation, is the camera mount that we set we use to set the view of the camera. You know, as big as your head can be, it's your neck that will decide where you are. That's why I say the camera We use it to set the view of the camera. We have different types of phones. We have the angular phones. We have the pendant phones. I don't think we use it. We have the pendant phones. We have the angular phones. But the knows that the major function of this that we use it to set in the view during the installation of the camera. And if your camera is the motorized camera, it's the months that you want to do. The months that also you want to do. And then what is the next component? Camera casing. Camera casing. This is the case. This one is the mild scene. In the olden days, with the casing that we used to determine, whether the camera is an outdoor camera or what it is. In the olden days, it's normally that plastic cameras are indoor, while metal ones are outdoor. But nowadays, we now have cameras that have what we call advanced polymer, that they look like plastic, but they can also withstand the rain. Okay, so, the function, the major function of the case is to protect all the internal let me ask you a question. The BNC and the power connector, is it an internal company? Internal company. Who, who said internal? Raise your hand. Why do you say it's internal? Because if this thing is exposed to rain, it's an external component. It's another thing that will protect this. You are still coming into that. That's adapting both of the other Is this that internal? It's also attached to the board. These are the internal components that want to be done. This, this output is external. So these ones are internal. I'm going to get one. So the major function of your case is to protect this. Whether it's indoor or outdoor. The major function it does that is to ensure that water doesn't get to you. When water gets into our electronics, most of the time it gets to the form or the start of function. Can I move on? What is the next component? Audio mic. Thank you very much, Audio mic. Although, let me check the first thing. Then you can pass it to me. This is the camera mic. Pass it to me. The major function of this mic is there are some CCTV. When it's with the house, the politician that will start for like that. There are some parts of his house when he starts when it starts speaking like this. And nowadays the technology has advanced that we now have cameras that are audio trigger. When you start talking like this, 
Oh, we get one. Zero zero. In different manufacturer use different one. Zero zero as in HD. Zero one CVPS. CVPS also is what HD. CVPS, CVR or CVR. So you are sure that if you have camera with selector like this, no matter the DVR that you need on site, it will still work. It will still work. Who owns the camera? The others can write. Am I true with that? What's the next one there? The last thing we mentioned in terms of lens. Last lens part. Grab the lens part. Let me bring it out. This is the lens part. This is the lens. This one outside there is the lens. During camera maintenance, this one, one of the things we do is that you get the white cloth and clean it. Somebody followed me to a project a few days ago. The moment we clean all the camera, what, what were the comments the of the was clear. The picture became clear. Once every six months, as an installer, you should advise your friend that come and this. And one of the maintenance you do is what? You clean this lens. See, that's the only one that you need to clean. That's the other one. The next lens we have, this one is just a glass, a covering glass. The next one we have is this. It's a convergent lens. I look at it now. That one is a convergent lens. It converges images towards the sensor. The major function of that, the, the convergent lens is to convert images coming from the glass protector towards what? The sensor. The sensor. And another thing about this convergent lens is that the thicker that lens, the longer the distance that your camera comes from. That's why you see some camera, the right 3.6 mm camera. We will still get there. You see 6 mm camera. You see 12 mm camera. And there are some cameras we have what we call, they call them variable focal length camera. Pause the video. Let me bring it. So, only time I'm piling, this one varies from 2.6 mm to 12 mm. So, every time I'm adjusting those screws there, the lens will be moving forward and backward. Normally, they have two lenses there. One is fixed, the other one can move forward and backward. One, the other one is motorized. That's the lesson. Hope everybody has seen it. Yeah? The, under the lens part, the next one we now have under the lens part, after the lens, we are now have what we call the lens sensor. This thing is the lens sensor. The major function of this lens sensor is not the one that will convert visuals that is coming in to electronic signal. Yes, I talked about it under input parts. It converts visuals towards electronic signals. Convert visuals to electronic So sometimes when your cameras are not clear, especially when cameras are going out, what we normally do is this. You get this, you untie your camera and you adjust the lens. The more you are adjusting it, the better it gets more clear and more clear. So that they can still manage to use the camera for the longer period. I don't want to fix it because this one is too So this camera now costs between 25 and 25 pounds. Yes. Can I move on? How many parts have we talked about in this camera? I right. believe we have talked about everything. None is left tonight. Let's now move to the next one. We now move to types of camera. Types of camera. We now move to types of camera. Oh, the mic is short. How do we connect it to this it's not, this one is not connected to camera. It stays separately, but it's inside the camera. That is only the one audio pass that's connected to the camera. And I do have audio pass. And I still saw it this morning. <laughs> <laughs> I have a moment. I have a moment.